Hey everyone, I'm Joey with Joey's Balloon Company and today I'm going to teach you how to make a monkey on a palm tree balloon animal. You're going to need three 260 balloon twisting balloons, one for the basic monkey and then two for the palm tree and your handy dandy balloon pump. There's a link to our website in the description below where you can find these basic balloon twisting supplies. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps our channel and it helps other aspiring balloon twisters to learn these shapes as well. Without further ado, let's get started. First off, let's start with the palm tree leaves. I'm gonna use a green 260, inflate it to about four or five finger lengths tail, and then tie it off. If you're new to balloon twisting, this is the absolute hardest part of the job is tying this knot in the balloons. It takes everybody a very long time to just learn how to tie this balloon faster. Keep practicing, you'll get better at it and you'll get faster. What we're going to do is make four palm branches, and each one of these is going to be made in the same exact way, which is pretty easy. First, twist a three or four inch bubble in your balloon. Next, you're going to arrange it so that this three inch balloon is on the bottom, and we're going to make an arching balloon that connects to both sides of this three inch balloon. For the first one, since we have a nozzle, go ahead and grab the nozzle with your thumb and index finger, and with the rest of your fingers, hold on to the rest of the balloon. As you're holding the nozzle, put a little bit of pressure on the rest of this balloon, and take your free hand and twist this palm branch around. Remember to hang on to your nozzle because we're going to stick it through this palm branch to kind of lock it in place. Great, once you've locked it in place, this is your first palm branch. Now squeeze the rest of your balloon. This will soften the balloon for the rest of our palm branches and hopefully it will help us prevent this balloon from popping as we're twisting. All right, on to the second one. Create a three inch bubble again. Fold the rest of your balloon over to make an arch over this three inch bubble. Put pressure on the rest of your balloon where your other twist already is and then take your free hand and twist your new palm branch. All right, two more to go. Three inch bubble, fold it over, put pressure on the rest of the balloon and with your free hand, twist this palm branch. Now with whatever you have left, make your last palm branch. It's okay if your last palm branch is a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller than the rest of them. Over time and as you practice, try to find a good ratio between the bottom of your palm branch and the top of your palm branch so that all of them end up being relatively the same size. All right, last one right here. Make a twist, fold the balloon over, hold the very end of your balloon close to the middle twist in this shape and twist your last palm branch. And there we go, that's the top of our palm tree. Next, we're gonna take our yellowish golden rod colored balloon, inflate it so you have about three finger lengths tail left and then tie it off like a pro. There's a couple different ways you can make this palm tree trunk, such as a hat, something that can be propped up by itself like sitting on a table, or a twisted tree trunk that you can carry around and hit people with. I'm gonna show you all three of these ways so that you have a couple options of making this monkey on a palm tree. The first one is a hat. For the hat, you're gonna to wanna to measure the head of whoever you're making this for. Once you have their head measurement, hold your balloon nozzle with one hand, put a little pressure pressure on the rest of your balloon and twist your loop around. Remember if we're twisting using the nozzle of the balloon, take your nozzle and put it back through the loop that you twisted so that it kind of locks it in place. Now this isn't going to be a very good palm tree hat because we need it sticking straight up. So what we're going to do is put a pinch twist, also known as an ear twist, right here at the base because pinch twists make your balloon turn in a 90 degree angle. How we're going to do that is first make a one inch bubble right here with the rest of your balloon. Now fold both sides so that they're facing down. and this one inch bubble is on top. Squeeze both sides just under where the twist is. Lift up the one inch bubble and twist it around. Now we have a palm tree hat that actually sticks straight up. To attach your leaves to this palm tree style, take whatever's left of your balloon tree trunk, stretch it out, and wrap it around the center twist of these balloon branches. To make a base so that this palm tree stands up on a flat surface like a table, all we need to do is make three petal twists about six inches long and arrange them on the bottom. Here's how we're gonna do that. First, we're gonna make our first petal twist. Bend the balloon so you have about a six inch petal. Grab the nozzle with your thumb and index finger and the rest of your balloon with the rest of your hand. Put pressure on this side of the balloon and twist your loop. Don't forget, if you're twisting using the nozzle, stick it back through whatever twist you just made so that it kind of locks it in place. Cool, that's our first loop. Now the other two loops are super simple. Fold your balloon over so that you have two equally sized loops. Put pressure on your untwisted part of this loop towards the central twist that we're making here and twist your loop with your free hand. Now do the same thing to create your third loop.
Now we should have something that looks like this. If you arrange it like this so all of your loops are flat, it will stay pretty well on a flat surface. Once you got your three loops situated, use the same technique to attach the palm tree trunk to the palm tree leaves by stretching the rest of this balloon out and wrapping it around this central twist in these palm leaves. The last way of making this balloon palm tree trunk is to give it a good spiral twist that someone can hang on to. In order to do this, we're gonna to need to connect both ends of our balloon. You can tie the nozzle and this nub together in a double knot to make it stay, or an easier way is to just make two bubbles out of each end and twist the two bubbles together like this. Now what we're gonna do is flatten out this loop, find the middle, and make a twist to divide this loop into two equal halves. Squeeze where the middle of this loop is and twist one side. Now we can take both ends of this loop and twist them in opposite directions. In order to get these twisted balloons to stay in that position, on each end we need to separate these two balloons, twist them around as far as we can, and let go so that these balloons can get caught on each other. Once you have a twisted tree trunk, we need to attach this twist in here to the inner twist of our palm leaves. We're gonna have to do this very carefully. A good way to do this is to hold these palm leaves against your body so that it doesn't go anywhere and stretch this yellow balloon out as we're pushing it into this central twist of the leaves to make sure that this twist is small enough to fit in there. It takes a little bit of pressure in moving this balloon around to eventually combine these two twists. So I started by putting my yellow balloon in the front of the palm leaves and I pulled both sides all the way to the back of the palm leaves. Once you're at this point, that's pretty stuck so you can rearrange the palm leaves to orient them the correct way. Be careful not to accidentally pull out these two yellow bubbles because that will detach the rest of this palm tree. If you guys have watched any of my YouTube videos, you know I'm gonna hide this nozzle. Here's our palm tree, now let's get started on the monkey. Inflate your 260 to about five finger lengths tail and then tie it off. To start this monkey, we are going to make a one inch bubble. Immediately following this one inch bubble, we're gonna make another one inch bubble. Remember, because we haven't combined this twist with another twist yet, if I let go of either side of this twist, it will come undone. So make your first one inch bubble, and while you're holding the top and bottom of the balloon, make another one inch bubble, twisting the bottom of your balloon in the same direction. I'm gonna twist the bottom of my balloon in the same direction, counterclockwise, as to not counteract the twist that I've just made. Great, and remember, as long as you twist it in the same direction for both of these twists, if you hold it on the top and the bottom, these two twists will stay intact. All right, quit getting distracted. Let's get back to our balloon animal. We're gonna take our first one inch bubble and fold it down so that this one inch bubble is facing down along with the rest of our balloon and this second one inch bubble is facing up with the two twists on either side. Next, we're gonna perform a pinch twist, also known as an ear twist right here, which means we're gonna squeeze in on both sides, lift up this middle bubble and twist it around. So now you should have something that looks like this. A good thing to remember about ear twists or pinch twists is that it makes the balloon turn in a 90 degree angle. Next, we're gonna make another one inch bubble and we're gonna squeeze the bubble before we twist so that we soften the balloon a little bit before we start twisting. So instead of just making this twist, put pressure where your one inch bubble is gonna be and then start twisting. We're gonna make a difficult twist in just a second, so make sure you soften this bubble by putting pressure on it before you twist it off. Now we're gonna create another one inch bubble that we're gonna turn into a pinch twist or an ear twist as well. Put a little bit of pressure on the balloon before you twist it off and make sure you're twisting in the same direction. So once you have both of these bubbles, we are going to then pinch twist or ear twist this second bubble. How we're gonna do that is just fold the top part of your balloon down and you should see a similar situation that we were just in with this other pinch twist. We're gonna hold it on both sides and pinch it in as we lift up this bubble and twist. Now orient your balloon so that both pinch twists are facing up and the two ends of your balloon are facing down. Now we're gonna perform a mega pinch twist. I don't actually know what it's called, but basically we are going to squeeze in on both of these sides, lift up both pinch twists and the middle and twist them all around at once. Remember, if you put a lot of pressure on any of these bubbles that you've already twisted off, the air has nowhere to go and it's likely to pop. If you're gonna put a lot of pressure on anything as you're making this twist, make sure it's the rest of your balloon because the air still has quite a ways to go in the rest of this balloon. So with one hand, hold your thumb under this twist on the right side here and the rest of your hand, hold the rest of the balloon. Now using your free hand, lift up both of these ear twists and the middle part as you put pressure right here to twist this bottom part of the balloon around. Here's what this is gonna look like.
Most of the pressure I'm putting on this twist is on the rest of this balloon right here. Twist them around about two times and you'll have something that looks like this. This is going to be the monkey's head with its two ears and its nose and mouth. We can twist these ears to face forward so they actually look more like ears. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide this nozzle like I do for a lot of my shapes because it just simply looks better. To hide the nozzle on this shape, I'm going to hold this bubble, pull the nozzle out as far as I can. Now I'm going to pull out on this bubble which is the nose and mouth and twist it around just like an ear twist. Twist this bubble around one or two times and you should be good. A lot of times when I do this, it creates a crease in the front of the balloon, which I actually really like because it looks like two nostrils. Once we're at this point, we are now going to attach this monkey head to the palm tree by making it look like this monkey is hugging the palm tree. First, we're gonna need to make a one inch bubble right here for the monkey's neck. If your balloon's starting to get tight, give it a little squeeze. After we make our one inch bubble, we're gonna make a four inch bubble, which is gonna be one of the monkey's arms. Once you've created this one inch bubble for the neck and this four inch bubble for the first arm, now we can start to wrap the rest of this balloon around our palm tree. When you've wrapped the rest of your balloon around this palm tree, we're gonna to need to twist the neck of our monkey along with the rest of our body to make this monkey stay on the palm tree. Put a little bit of pressure right here towards the knot at the bottom of this monkey's neck and either twist the whole palm tree or twist the monkey's neck in the rest of your balloon. Now we're gonna make a section for the body, which is gonna be about three inches. Now make another two to three inch section for one of the monkey's back legs. Fold the rest of your balloon up, put pressure on the outside of this balloon right here, and twist your back legs to finish making your back legs. Now our monkey has a really long straight tail, so let's put a little bit of spiral in it. All we need to do for that is to basically twist the tail like a corkscrew and then squeeze both sides alternating. And that will give us a somewhat twisted monkey tail. Don't forget to give it a face because it looks a lot better if you give it a face and people tend to like it more. So there you go, that's my monkey face. If you wanna do better facial designs than me, just Google how to draw some cartoon character eyes and faces. And it's a good start to figuring out what kind of facial expressions you wanna give your balloon animals. Hopefully this was helpful and you learned a couple different ways of making a balloon monkey on a palm tree. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps our channel and it helps other balloon twisters learn how to make these shapes as well. If you think you've got what it takes to work with us as a balloon twister or a balloon decorator in the United States, or Canada, visit our website for more details. Thanks for watching. See you next time.